Got it normal larger text size extra large there are 13 romantic movies listed on Jaggy Entertainment's credits page. Most which feature the same mix of cursive and sans serif script. And five them include the word love. The title includes two of the words romance and one of the words matching. Of these, 11 feature a happy, attractive, heterosexual white couple. If they seem like they're following a formula, that's because they are. And for company founder Steve Jaggy, it's paying off in spades. There's definitely a formula here. It's a business and we're always learning, says the Canadian-born, Queensland-based producer. He says it boils down to two words audience-focused. Jagger's latest film is Love is in the Air, which stars Delta Goodrum as a pilot in northern Queensland and Englishman Joshua Sass as the coup plotter who inevitably wins her heart, loses it and wins it back despite bad winds. A sufficiently tropical cyclone ends their fledgling relationship. Steve Jaggy has made 29 feature films in the last eight years. Sticking to a simple audience formula. Netflix. Delta wanted get back to acting and I think she connected with material, says Jaggy. Who insists that when casting his leading lady. It was the first and only option play feisty pilot Dana. Community Before Profit. An aspirational movie. Rated PG. With a broad base and a positive message. I think he felt it would connect with his fans and his music. The biggest challenge was finding a time when he could fit it into his schedule. As he was about to embark on an international tour to celebrate his 20th year in the music industry. Delta is probably the top of the pyramid in Australia. Says Jaggy. They did three-week block of filming in North Queensland in January. Then took a break from touring few months later with Goodrum returning to Brisbane and the Gold Coast for another week. Delta Goodrum was ready to return to acting. And Love is in Air provided the right vehicle at right time. Netflix the film is unlikely to win many awards. But it meets most of the criteria demanded by the genre and its fans. And Jaggy says this is very important. It's important to understand that the audiences for these films take them incredibly seriously, he says. There are rules. There are tropes to follow. You have work with filmmakers and writers who are as committed to the genre as they are the audience. I think we need to take the audience seriously when making these films and not be sarcastic or ironic. Stating his age as early 40s. Jaggy said, despite being largely overlooked, he has made 29 feature films in the eight years since discovering a niche for an unapologetically commercial operation in the Australian market. About half of these have been in the romance field. Although the genre has suffered in cinema in recent years, last year the world the Julia Roberts George Clooney romantic comedy ticket to paradise which grossed 172 million worldwide, is one of seven English.